All right, so the government hasn't grounded us yet and told us we need to stay home, so I'm back out at Santa Monica. I uh, have the Vanquish with me on the beach tonight. I have both machines, but the rain's, rain has been off and on all week, so uh, I'd say it's a safe bet to say it's not going to rain anytime soon. It's gorgeous. Help me grow my channel. Like and subscribe. Let's get started, see what we can find. First target, 2526. I'm in the dry sand still, heading down to the wet. And starting off with a dime. Low to mid 20s target, but jumping up too, so pretty interesting. Now it's reading more towards 30, which it should suggest a quarter or something silver, right? Or a dime. That was interesting. Alright, got a dime. Right near that dime I got a 12-13 target. And it's a nickel, as it should be. Got a 20 target. Keep hearing. Another target next to it. We'll take a look. Crusty Penny. Let's see what this other one is. It's a 14. Reading shallow. Something small. Right there. Bonfire aluminum? No, that's not bonfire aluminum. It's got a ring on it for a chain. I got a lot of people around me, so I'll take a look here shortly. This doesn't sound horrible, but it doesn't sound really good either. It's like 16, 17, and then it would jump up to like a mid-20. All metals, I hear it every time, so it's junk. junk ring. Look at that. Craziness. That's been there a while. It's adjustable. That's why it sounded weird. When it's split like that, it's going to give a weird, weird signal. That would be fun to clean up. And it's beautiful out. Just absolutely gorgeous. That's Malibu up that way. Uh, the view never gets old.
a penny target. I think I've, I've talked about it in other videos I do, but I dig t penny targets because I have found silver at this tone and other things. Um, so you never know. It's worth worth digging a 20, even though it's a penny. Eleven, twelve, thirteen tone nickel, maybe. Let's find out. Yep, it's a nickel. All right, so we got this beautiful view, and then we have a runoff here. And this couple decides. Hey honey, let's make out over by this cesspool instead of staring at the sunset at the ocean. It's kind of odd, isn't it? I don't know. We're gonna turn the video off before it gets too crazy. Mid 20s up to high 30s, jumping all over the place. Now it's 35, 37, 39. Keep in mind, top of the scale is 40. All right, my battery died on the camera, so I stopped. But I saw it, it's a quarter. And this thing is crusty. I was digging, I was chasing a mid 20s and it was jumping up to th mid to high 30s. And I get it out of here and actually, it's a, just a green crusty quarter reading. Let's hear what it reads now out of the hole. Yeah, it reads like a quarter out of the hole, but that thing was jumping high 30s. Crusty, been there a while. It's only in 1995. Anyway, on to the next. This one's bouncing at me like it's right on top. If you hear that double beep, usually that means it's right on top where you can just kind of do a skim, shake, and you get it. And look at that, I'm a penny richer. If I can grab it. Penny. Nice mid 20s target. Should be a dime or something silver or a copper penny. Copper penny. Is it a wheat? 74. Nope, not a wheat. The tide, mid 20s, jumping up to 30. The tide is way up now, so I'm doing dry sand my entire walk back to the car. It's a dime. And sometimes you have a target yelling at you, and this one's laying right on top. We've had a lot of wind here lately, and uh, it blows off the light sand on the top, and sometimes you can just walk around and see them laying right there. Kind of cool. Rock solid 25, 26. Probably a dime. Yep, it's a dime. Pretty good 11, 12 target, really deep. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a few bites out of this right out of the gate. You'll notice I dig way away from the actual where I target it because uh, if it is something cool, you don't wanna damage it. You only hit a ring once to learn your lesson. I've done it, most people have. All right, if I could get the target, that'd be great. That's a nickel, reading 11 mostly, sometimes a 12. Mid 20s, kind of choppy. Come on, Greg. Wow, 
This is, I think my hands are cold. That's the excuse I'm gonna use. It's a dime. Rock solid 13. I got my sensitivity way up and I think it's just reacting to my scoop when I come in with, within a couple of feet of it. So I get that high pitch every once in a while. Nickel. 2425. Start digging way behind it just in case it's something good. It's a dime. Yeah, I was getting a 13 at first, now I'm getting a 14, so it's probably a pull tab. Not a pull tab. That's saving someone's foot. That would hurt. Ringing in the 30s. Really deep. Still in the 30s. I moved it. Now it's reading a little lower. Giving me a workout here. Okay. Or disappearing. Let's take another bite. Might have gone up in its side. Yep. Reading a 25 out of the hole. That was a deep penny. Copper penny, not a weedy. I heard it before I saw it, so I was kind of doing that and I got shiny. So right there is some shiny. Let's take a close look. There's a keychain, a bling bling keychain. Kind of cool looking. I like it. Pretty solid 30 tone here. Should be a quarter. Hopefully something silver instead. Let's see it. Quarter. Rock solid 30 on the surface. Got it. Another quarter. All right, I've decided to dump my trash uh, before I get back to my car. It's just a lot of it. That was that one in the cut I found, a little kid's toy, princess something, I don't know what the heck it's for. It's trash. So, just your usual trash. And we'll see you on the wrap. Alright, quick tailgate wrap up. So, I got this keychain, it's kind of cool and blingy. Looks like this pendant's going to be uh, some kind of an angel. I'll get it cleaned up when I get back up to my hotel room. And a junky ring. And uh, I'll get that cleaned up as well. Uh, no shortage of pennies, unfortunately, but I got uh, six dimes, four nickels, three quarters, a pile of pennies. Uh, my little app thing that I use said I worked, I walked 3.8 miles tonight. Um, a lot of trash as well, just your typical trash. Uh, and I think that's a piece of a ring. I don't know. Eh, either way. 
But I appreciate you watching. Uh, I'm hoping tomorrow night I can go out one more time. My my um, my schedule is to go back home on Thursday. So tomorrow night I'm hoping we don't have to uh, stay home and uh, they allow us to go out. And if so, I will be out there with Chance tomorrow night. We're going to hit up Manhattan Beach over by LAX. So it was a fun night. And uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Help grow my channel. And we'll see you on the next.